All right, we're recording now. All right, so at Summit, um, Whitney was talking, and Marcella and I were just sort of like, Phew. because she was introducing this whole new, like, hey, you don't have to be on social media um, creating these challenges or talking to people about, um, you know, solutions. And she created these challenges. Was it car dealerships or used car places? But basically, she got out of her comfort zone and went into places, people to people, you know, eyeballs to eyeballs. And anyway, we we want to challenge. We want to be in the, that place. But we are clueless. Like we were, we had a team meeting the other day and we were talking about we really need to step it up we really need to step it up and we were like uh, what do we say so if you um would share a bit and then let us do a q and a that that sound good absolutely all right that's awesome all right thank you um, yeah so when i first got the idea i was the same way i thought man all these coaches are doing social media what could i try and do differently and for me, I've always been the person who loves working with people in person. And that was always my strength. I was terrible at being behind a computer. So I started talking, I was just kind of brainstorming this over with one, with one of my friends. And she's like, why don't you talk to, you know, local businesses? and go in and just see if they have employee wellness programs and if you could launch something. <laughs> for them if they don't. And so I thought, oh, that's a really good idea. So I decided I would start with a business where I had a connection somehow to the owner just so it wasn't as cold. Um, so I encourage you to start thinking of li like a list of names of people where you kind of might know who the head is there. Um, so it could be a friend's dad or it could be your uncle owns a dealership. It doesn't have to be a car dealership. It can be any kind of workplace, maybe a place you used to work and you left on good terms, that kind of thing. So start thinking of businesses and maybe just write down a list or, and I would suggest starting semi-small um, because typically big corporations do have employee wellness programs already in place, um, but smaller to medium-sized businesses don't. And they have an incentive then to put one in place because they get a little cost break on insurance a lot of the time for the insurance they're providing for their employees if they offer something or if they're showing they're offering something. Um, so there's benefit to the business on that end. And there's a bez um, obvious benefit to them having healthier employees and higher productivity. So... A lot of the times they just don't know where to start. Um, so you actually have the upper hand going into this meeting because you're this wealth of information and you have a solution for these, you know, say you start with a company with 30 employees. Um, you have this area of expertise that could help them. So when I first proposed it, I um, emailed them first because I, that's all the contact I had. And his name was Pat, was the uh, head of that dealership. I started with Honda because it was my friend's dad. And so I thought, okay, this is con maybe an in. So I sent him an email just saying, hey, my name is Whitney. I'm friends with Steph. And I have an idea that I want to run by you. Um, and I want your feedback on. So ask them to kind of be a participant in this idea of yours. Um, that way they don't feel like, oh, this is just another person pitching me on something to do with my employees. Right. I really, my passion, lead with your passion always and what you do. My passion is helping and inspiring other people out there, helping them get fit and healthy. And I want to launch this new little um, side to my business where I help businesses, where I help um, people in person get healthy and fit. So, and run corporate wellness programs, you could call it. And he said, absolutely. Like that sounds so cool. What are some details that you're thinking? Um, so we went back and forth a couple times via email. He wanted ideas. So I threw out a couple different ones. I said, 
well, we could do something like I set up, you know, an interview or a consultation with each employee that wants to do this. And we could line out a great fitness plan for them and a nutrition package for them. And in my mind, I'm thinking I'll get every employee set up on a challenge pack. <laughs> um, and we'll put it like, I didn't know how we could do payment if we could do a company card right. or, you know, each employee might pay the initial cost and then they get uh, refunded by the employer in a paycheck, something like that. Um, so we threw that one out there initially. I could set up, a, you know, and get a package going with each, each client. And these are workouts they could do at home um, or they could do it at the gym. And so I threw that one out there and then I threw this kind of other idea out there. I thought, okay, well, I'm certified. I have group fitness. I have personal training. So let me throw this one at him. I could come in once a week, lead a workout for the group. And I could also meet with people in person, maybe once a week, go over their goals, um, what they're working for next week. Maybe we could do a company lunch and learn once a week. Um, maybe we could just kind of get people talking about nutrition because I think that'll be the hardest part. And he picked that option. He liked that because he saw, he knew I think about Beach Buddy and he thought, I don't want to promote a company necessarily in my business because I don't, I don't know everything they stand behind. But if you are working with somebody and they feel like they need one of those things, feel free to mention Beach Buddy to them. So we went with, he wanted package B and then he threw in, why don't we challenge the company across the street and we'll do a competition. So, and he and his partner own the other one across the street. So that was an easy tie in, but a lot of business owners know another business owner from, you know, all their, we have rotary out here. And so all the business owners kind of know each other. So you could act, encourage them, Hey, bring a friend's business into this and you guys can go back and forth and compete. And, so when I um, put this package all together, it became awesome. It became something that was like, all right. And it was a lot. So I ended up hiring a couple people to help me. Now, if you guys are all in the same town, you can do it together. Um, the people I ended up hiring, I signed them on as Beachbody coaches first. And I put out an ad on Craigslist saying, I'm looking for people to help me with a corporate challenge. Um, I need somebody who's into fitness, into nutrition, open to learning, yada, yada. So then when I sat down and interviewed each person, um, then I signed up, I said, okay, we're going to use these tools potentially per employee. So I need you to sign up here with this platform and they had no problem with it. And some of them are still coaches. So it was kind of a cool launching point because it gave them automatic customers pretty much when we went into this this business. So it's a win-win in both, in all aspects. But, um, so it turned into every Tuesday morning, we would lead a 6 a.m. workout and we could have done this at the dealership. We actually ended up talking to a local gym where the employees already had a discount if they wanted to go to the gym and they let us use their big workout room in the morning. It wasn't being used. So you can partner with local gym too. Um, so we did a Tuesday morning workout. You got points if you, everything was a point system for the winning team. They, we teamed them up into groups of three and four employees. Mm -hmm. And, um, so everything was a contest. If you showed up to the workout, you got a point. If you showed up to your consultation that week, you got a point. In the consultations, I broke into about 15 minutes with each person, and they had a folder that they would bring with written down what they ate that week um, and what their workouts were that week. In the first consultations, they didn't have that, obviously. I gave them their folder, but we talked about what are your goals, where can we go from here, what are your pain points, what are you struggling with. So right then was a time that I signed some of them up for a challenge pack because I recognize they have zero time, they have zero nutrition. Um, so let's start here. Yeah. Now that ended up being on their dollar because the company was already paying for me to come in and have this time with them. So if they wanted that, that was on their own. I got my best coach on the team from, she was an employee there and she bought a challenge pack. Loved it, amazing results. Now she's one of my best coaches. So, 
you kind of have this huge market now of people um, that you could turn into coaches one day. So plus, if you're going car salesmen, they already know sales, which yes, we're not salesmen, but they know how to work with people. Um, so that was a pretty cool little niche. And so every week I would meet with them, we talk about their goals, and you really kind of become their therapist, as you probably know with coaching and being a client, having clients. So if you want to do the in-person thing, you could. If I did it again, I would probably do something like this because unless it was like a small local business, we had 75 people. So I had all oh who gosh. to sit down with. I had 32 of them and the other person had, or 37 of them and the other person had 37 of them. So it was crazy. I'm so glad oh I gosh. did had a huge team because now I don't know how I would do that. Um, but it really kicked off the momentum for the way I led my team. And now they feel encouraged to do stuff in person. So if you guys are a young team, then it's a great way to kind of kick off. Here's what we do. And where you can go from there, in addition, is, you know, those Saturdays where you have people either we all meet at the park that's close by the business. Or, you know, you can lead a free Saturday meetup and then invite community members, too. And it's just a way to involve the community in what you're doing. And right after, like, have little Dixie cups of Shaco for people. Oh, post-workout recovery, here you go. Choo, choo, choo. You know, don't give them a full scoop, but now they're trying it. Um, so then we did the healthy lunch and learns as well in the business. So I would call, you know, a local business, ask them to make up some salads and some wraps. Um, we'd bring those in, and then I'd talk to them about nutrition talk to him about superfoods, talk to him about macros, talk to him about um, portions. And then I'd show him the portion control containers and that these are an option if you don't want to count calories. Um, we never, one of my goals was to get Shakeology in the break room and we never got around to that. Um, but that's something I would push for, especially if you're doing um, a business where people are there kind of around that two o'clock, three o'clock time or they're coming in early, especially if you're working with them when they get their workout in and then they have to go right to work. Then you could offer, hey guys, or talk to the head, you know, can we have Shaco in the break room for people right when they get to work? They can make up a healthy breakfast. Cost the employer 107 bucks. I would send, I would sign, if I did this again, I'd sign up the employer as a coach. All of these challenge packs go under the coach so that they get the commission back, but you bank on the volume that it's going to create. Any bag they order for the business is 97 or 90 PV. Um, they're getting it at cost, the bags, and that way they'll be more encouraged to carry it in the break room. Maybe start out with one of each flavor, see what, see what works, see what moves. Um, but yeah, it was very much a hands-on approach with all of it. So be prepared for putting in the hours to kind of launch this. But once it's moving, man, it is a force. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you also for just um, what you would have done differently um, with signing, signing up the employer. That's like... Um, Megan, I know that it's early for you. Do you have, well, y'all are in the same time zone. Do you have any questions since you probably have to go first? Um, I was, think, I like, I like how you offer the two different options, right? People love options, but like for us, because none of us are certified, right? Like it would be tough for us to offer that option. Like you know, I like the Saturday in the park idea because it's less formal and then people just feel like, you know, they're not certain necessarily going to ask you, like, are you certified or something like that. But what do you think would be a different option to offer if you don't have that behind your name? So I would do something similar to what we do on Super Saturdays in my small town is we put up a projector um, and I would have everybody come in and go, okay, Wednesday's all, all of our workout day. We're going to be there working out with you. We're in the trenches. We're going to do it. And then you put on Shanti, boom, on the screen. You guys bust it out or do that at the park and, and project it onto the wall ball, you know, cord or whatever. Um, yeah, that would totally work. And then you're really getting the program into, they're getting the experience with the program. With me training them, it was total group fitness, so they didn't even know we were doing an insanity workout or a right. team 
by workout. So did yours would probably be more advantageous to get the program in front of them. Did they ask you if you were, um, Whitney, did they ask you if you were certified? Somebody have a um, TV on behind? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's me. I'll mute myself again. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry. I was like, what is that? Um, um, corporate or the um, Pat did, but I think I actually just came out with that. So, you know, you wouldn't have to come out with that at all. I think I said, I'm this, this, and this, and I want to do this. You could say the same thing. I'm a health and fitness coach. I absolutely love helping people. Um, I was interested in working with employees. Would that be okay with you? And then you could go from there. Okay. So, um, I get asked sometimes, or I get people assume that I'm a personal trainer and I end up saying, Oh, I'm actually, I'm not, I don't have any like certification, but then I go into just saying that I've used these programs. They completely changed my life. And the way that it's set up is, um, I, I show you what to do. Um, do you feel like there's in other ideas that you've done or you've gone through, do you feel like there's been any pushback from people or is that, um, do you, I don't know if I'm making sense. Do you, are you worried maybe the, like the validity of it yes. or credential side? Like I'll say, this is a billion dollar business. This is or not business. This is Beachbody is like, cause they'll say like Beachbody and they kind of have like this idea that this is really like a scam or this is really cheesy. And I'll say, oh my gosh, like you obviously don't own a TV. You haven't been watching their infomercials. Like this is legit. Um, but I think Megan's concern was maybe that they were going to like the pushback she'll get is, you know, this is legal. Um, you're not certified kind of that kind of jargon. Um, but yeah, I, I see that being kind of where you would want to be talking to a friend because then they know you you know, like Pat knew you, he knew you weren't like just some yeah. walking off the street kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And you will find that other business owners is particularly small to medium sized business owners want to help other entrepreneurs. So if that's launching something and you go be my test in this, like I would love, you know, here's what I have. How can we make this work? and come at it from that perspective and if he's like i think you should get you know your like a little insurance policy on yourself just in case anybody gets hurt they don't go after you now what we did with the employees was and you could do this even because you're not certified especially is have a form we had a sign a form that just said if i get hurt at the workouts if i get you know whatever um allergic breakout of Shakeology if we did that. Um, I will not sue Honda and I will not sue Whitney's mom. Um, so have something in place for that for sure. And I would absolutely come at it from the perspective of, yep, I am a health and fitness coach. I'm launching my business. This is my passion. This is my dream. Can you help me? Can you, can we use your employees and kind of be our first guinea pigs in this, would you be open to something like that and brainstorm with them? Because chances are they have something in their head. They've thought of this before. They have employee wellness on their mind. So they're going to throw some ideas at you and people just want to be heard. So if you can kind of go back and forth and find something that's going to hit that middle ground, I think they're going to be stoked that there's someone out there that's going to jumpstart them, put a fire under their butts and get them going. Um, so, and you're going to be that catalyst. So don't be afraid to share, yeah, your story, how this helped you and why you're doing it now versus leading with some kind of certification. I absolutely don't think that that's, and if employees were smart, they would know that certification doesn't mean anything. I know some of the worst trainers in the world, but they have this piece of paper, you know, saying, Oh, I got certified from this, this, and this. It's like, that doesn't mean anything. You the three of you would be better coaches than some of them that I know. Um, so I think a lot of people know that it's kind of like high school education or college education. Like it's a piece of paper. It's what you do with it and the person you are that makes you either an epic employee or a great business owner or a leader. 
Um, so yeah, I'd say just have the confidence and don't be afraid to brainstorm with them about what they envision and you be the tester of it all. Have them be the tester. Thank you. That was awesome. Um, Marcella, do you have some questions about Marcella has her approaches um, through a news re newscaster or news reporter? Uh, well, so this is uh, at some, uh, just to give you some background, at Summit, um, we were walking back to our house and we came across this, like, this girl who was doing this news, uh, something about somebody got stabbed, like, down the street from our house, which was kind of scary, but anyway, so I just, uh, I walked up to her and I was like, hey, blah, blah, and I was chatting, and so then we became friends on Facebook and we chatted a little bit. It's been a little while, but um, uh, Kristen actually suggested that I do this. Um, I had talked to her about being in a group before and she seemed a little interested, but hadn't talked to her again since she didn't follow up or anything. Um, but I was like, well, so, and just today I sent her a message and I was like, well, what if we have like a competition between you and your news team oh. and the other news team, like in you know town or whatever. Um, so I just, just sent her the voice message. I don't know if it was a very good message, so I need to follow up with her. Um, so my question for you is, I get, like, this has been really helpful about, like, a little bit of back and forth, like, sure, what do I say? Because I, like, now I, I broached the idea, um, but I don't really know, like, how to follow up. Like, I, I told her this is a wild and crazy idea, and I feel like, I don't know if it's an okay thing for me to even be suggesting. Uh, <laughs> I didn't quite say it like that. I tried to say it with more confidence, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> what what like what are your tips for follow I don't know if you've done this with other people since but what do you suggest as far as follow up like once you put the idea out there good question so with them same I would go same route I would say something like hey I want to brainstorm an idea with you mm -hmm. and what if we put together something that could work for our companies and we present it to management okay. and we could have both, you know, news anchor teams go against each other. We could do um, some kind of healthy lunch and learn. We could do some sort of all of us healthy workout on the week or fun workout on the weekends. We could do a Wednesday morning workout with the whole team and we'll do, we did it biggest loser style. So we weighed everyone in at the beginning, and so we did percentage of weight loss in the group. Um, so you could throw at it. I mean, everybody's seen Biggest Loser, so that's very much a common thing. When, some, when you say that to somebody, they'll be like, oh, it's on. And you could, you know, let's name our teams. Let's have team kick-ass news anchors versus kick, yeah. you know, whatever. And, and then see what she says back. Okay. Um, I think you leading with ideas is going to spark her imagination. Yeah. Is, oh yeah, that'd be cool. And you guys put it together and then go to your employer or um, at your management and go, hey, what about this? We've been brainstorming. We think we can yeah. do something really fun and get the whole team on board. And I have to say, we did surveys at the beginning and at the end of employee like happiness. And they were so much happier at the end of our, we did 90 days. Um, because they were part of a team. They felt like they got to know their other coworkers. Um, they were obviously working out down. One guy lost 22 pounds. I mean, absolutely insane. They're feeling amazing about themselves and they're part of like, and then they come together, especially if you're doing it against another business, that business really comes together and they go, okay, get your butt moving. Like you're bringing us down. And uh, so they, they naturally become quite, the cool team. Um, so my other question sort of to follow up is, so she's in New Orleans and I'm in yeah. DC. So we couldn't do the like face to face necessarily. Um, so what would be your, your workaround for doing like, like I love the idea of getting everybody together and doing a team, like a team workout, but um, you know, it'd be a little tough. So yeah. So maybe your competition could be that you guys, like, you know, you just know that Wednesday mornings are the day where they're going to do their group workout and you're going to do theirs. And you have to somehow 
maybe you go, maybe you go on zoom with it or something and you put your phone up and then it's them working out versus you, or you have to send, okay, here's our sweaty selfie, send it over to them or team okay. domination crushed it this morning. Did you guys get yours in? Or you can do different mornings even since you have no kind of um, right. link there. Um, decide as you go. If your employees, if the employees like it, like Monday, one week, Wednesday, next week, all you have to do to that other business is go, all right, here's our check-in, match it and kind of. Okay. So like a team picture, maybe. That would totally work. Yeah. Yeah. I made sure to do a picture after every workout. One, it was sneaky because I <laughs> was trying to keep track of who the heck showed up. <laughs> um, if they left before the team checked, then they were going to get their point. Um, but two, I started using those like in emails to people or we put them on, we had a Facebook page just for the business, um, and the wellness people. Um, so they started sharing their pictures in there on the days they weren't working out with us. They were like, Oh, got mine in today. And so it created this other community for them. So I post the team pick and then the people who didn't show up to the workout be like, dang it, I missed out. Like that looks so fun. Um, so yeah, you could totally play around with Facebook, play around with pictures, um, as much uh, journalizing, quote unquote, you could do from it, the better. Um, and I know that you, you were doing your like your workout, so I don't know if your workout is kind of always the same, but you know, if we were going to be using um, you know Beachbody on demand workouts, would you suggest having everybody like I guess just like rotating which workout you did with the group? I would. I think that'd be super fun. I even, when I envisioned, envisioned giving everyone a challenge pack, I thought everyone's going to get one a different challenge pack because they're all at different levels. So to keep it even every week, we'll do a different workout of who got what. So week one will be Shaleen week. Week two would be Shanti week. Week three. Um, but now they didn't have BOD at the time. Right. So now you could really go, okay, you're getting BOD and then make it. This is Shaleen week and here's your workout. When you're not with us, then you're doing this workout on your own and kind of put that across. Here's your workout calendar and everyone gets the same workout calendar and um, play around with each trainer for sure. That would be awesome because then they're going to be like, oh, I really love Tony and I freaking hated Shaleen. So <laughs> I'm going to get Tony after this or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I was, I'm leading with my fear right now. Um, seasonal depression is so real and such a struggle. And so my fear is how many other people really struggle with setting goals and sticking with them. And I, while y'all were talking, I was making a list of people that I know personally who are heads and I know the head of a very well-known um, bank here in Austin, and I know the head of a nonprofit um, wow. BBBS of Central Texas. Um, I have connections to those people, um, and I've met them personally. And so I'm kind of like, that could be really fun. But then my fear is like, oh, Kristen, it's getting into Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, like you're going to lose people. Whitney, speak to me <laughs> because I know that's not true. You know, I know that like, this is a hard quarter for us, but that's, I can't go in with that mindset. Right. Especially if they have that mindset too. Yeah. So you, two things. One, I started approaching it about this time of year. And by the time we got everything signed and people signed up and up and running, we were ready for a January launch. So it's oh, going to take a little okay. while to get everything rolling. So it's actually perfect because you, you're already on top of it. You've got Q4 to yeah. dial it in with these guys and go, hey, let's do a beginning of the year. Everyone's fired up. Let's do a challenge. And I think they'll eat that up because they also recognize, especially, well, almost 99% of businesses have a year in push. And so for them to even start wrapping their brain around adding something else in might be really tough for them. Right. Yeah, um, so I would almost start now, get your stuff together and then present in October for a January launch. 
And holy smokes, maybe you go, let's be a test group. We have this brand new program coming out. I want to do 80 days with a business. And you get them all doing 80 day obsession or, you know, some form and they truly be a test group for it. Yeah, they would be. Done it. Um, so that's, although that is intermediate, um, the beginners, you could, you could obviously work with them on a different program or recommend a different program. But so I would say be mindful of how much prep you're going to have to do. Um, okay. But if you want to keep with, you know, I want to launch this in December, or I want to launch this in, in November, then that uh, I think marketing push would be let's help the employees get through the holidays. Let's make them feel, let's help them feel better. It is kind of a seasonal depression time too for people who feel like financially strapped um, for people who are just crazy stressed. So if you lead with what maybe the pain points are of the employees and show the employer why they need fitness right now and why they need clean nutrition, because you're about to go into this and they're about to go into this crazy Q4 push. So they yeah. need to be at the top of their game. Yeah. Then, and that's another angle that you could use. And go, this is the time we need to do it. And then they're just going to be feeling even better going into Q1 and then you could do round two or you could present, hey, you're going to have some pretty kick-ass employees going into January and you're going to have a killer year come 2018, something like that. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Got it. And I, yeah, I didn't take into account that this is going to, like you said, like a lot of brainstorming and it's not, it's not like next week they're going to be like, oh yeah, let's start. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, they, they'll get a calendar date going and then you'll have time to sit down. You, your initial assessment of every employee will take you a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, and that I, I took about 30 to 35 minutes per employee when I was first getting their goals and what to line okay. out for them. So map out that time and you could be doing that through December, November, December, um, so you already kind of have a contract sign. You're already getting paid by that, by the business for coming in and spending, I put an hourly rate to that. Okay. Um, what did you, what was your hourly rate? I think I did $70 an hour. Okay. It was either, um, yeah. And then workouts, workout time was $55 for the hour. Okay. Um, consultation time was 70. So kind of map it out and go, okay, I'll try and fit for initial consultations. I'll fit everybody into a 30 minute window times, however many employees you have, there's your dollar amount for that period. Now, if you go over that, that's not on the, that's not on the business. That's on you. And you just take a little, little cut, but you're going to love it so much. You're not going to care. Yeah. Okay. And then you could do schedule this time with the people who have odd schedules at work or can't get away at work for 30 minutes this time after work on a zoom call or FaceTime would be awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, do y'all have any more questions? I know the timer is cutting down now. I don't, I was just going to jump in and say, I have to run and get my kids out of bed, but I just wanted to say thank you so much. That was awesome. And totally, I didn't get to see your diamond call, but I can, I'm also now experiencing the mind blow. So <laughs> thank you for sharing that with us. And I didn't want to be rude and just like jump off, but I do have to go now. So thank you so much. All right. I will talk to you. I'm soon. glad you got on Megan. Have a great day, everybody. You bye. too. Bye you guys. Or bye. Um, Marcella, do you have any other yeah. questions? Um, no, I want my, my question was about the, like getting everything set up and, um, so it was separate from like the challenge pack, or sorry, obviously it was separate from the challenge pack. So I was curious about how you got that contract all set up, but. Um. Yeah, and we did to, to promote it to everybody. We set up a breakfast um, at, they have a local country club where the, the business owner is a member of. So we got together in the banquet room and invited all the employees. It was like a 6 a.m. breakfast before they all had to go to work. And we promote, we shared this idea with all the employees. And so I think probably 150 of them showed up and we said, here's the plan. By this point, you have it dialed in um, with the employer, what you're doing. Here's what we're going to present to you. Here's what we're doing. If you want to jump in, the employees had a little bit of buy-in too, and the employers covered the majority. So these people couldn't okay. fail because they felt like it was part of it was getting taken out of their paycheck. Yeah. Um, 
I think it was a small amount, maybe like 20 bucks per every two weeks or something like that. Okay. Um, and so they had the buy-in and we said, before you leave this room, commit, like sign this. Yes, I want to be part of it. Here's the best times for my consultation. And as they walked out of the banquet room, they could set the paper down and that's how we knew who we would be contacting. Um, so plan that with the employer too, of a way to launch this to the employees and sh present it to them and have them buy in right then and there. And even the ones who don't end up going back to work and all their employee, all their, um, coworkers just signed up. So they're going to pretty much talk everybody else into it for you. But we had about 50%, um, sign up. So if 150, yeah, we had about 75 okay. out of those. Um, who were like, okay, I could take a little paycheck cut to uh, get all this awesome knowledge. And it was so cheap for them. I mean, 20 bucks every two yeah. weeks for just the workout alone. Um, yeah. they, they were getting the value. Okay. So it, did the employer kind of figure out how they were going to either, you were saying, um, like in the very beginning, you were talking about how they were going to take it out of their paycheck or put it back into their paycheck if they bought it individually. Um, do you know how that panned out just, or did they figure it out behind the scenes without you or were you part of that brainstorming? I was, I mapped out, they said, give us the cost breakdown. So I mapped out, okay, with me buying or me buying the healthy lunches, we did break room snacks. I went to Costco every Sunday and got snacks for the break room. So between those two things, my time for a lunch and learn, my time for all of the check-ins each week with each person, and then my time for the workout, here's the total cost. And let's break that down per employee, what that cost would be. Now, how much does the company want to subsidize per employee? How much do they want to pay for? Per, they, we did like an 80-20. So they covered 80% and the employee covered 20%. And then, yes, there was a a sign a piece of paper that corp they created that said, I hereby acknowledge that $20 will be taken out per pay period from my paycheck. And they had to sign it and give it to H um, their payroll person. Okay. And so then she factored into the payroll um, every, and they do that in a lot of companies like who offer lunches, for instance, they'll take that right out of, of the total paycheck. So it's something that most businesses are used to. Okay. Um, so yeah, just getting that dialed in and signed was they signed their contract that yes, we want to do this and they signed the, okay, here's my paycheck acceptance of it taken out. They were separate. Okay. All right. Nice. One quick question. Um, what was the prize at the end for the winner of the dealership? Um, we did each the teams, we did teams. So, uh, teams of four, everybody got about a hundred bucks, I think. Oh, and I factored that into the total cost. So prizes are factored in winners each get a hundred dollars something. I think I did a gift card or a, a cash. Okay. Um, second place team winners each got $50 third place team wieners wieners. Winners each got $25, and then I did an overall most improved person, separate of teams. Some people got lousy teams, um, but they rocked it. So you could do biggest transformation. You could do, like, most dedicated, um, okay. like, most improved. And then, but, yeah, we didn't do anything over. I think the ultimate, like, biggest transformation person, I think, got, like, $150. That was, like, the big prize. Oh, that's awesome. One male, one female. Okay. Okay. We're about to get cut off. And thank you so much, thank Whitney. This is just thank like, you. thank you. We're so, so excited. Well, uh, excited. Excited. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, I will give you feedback on how it went. Marcel, did you have anything? No, I'm good. I'm super excited. I have to brainstorm. I have no idea where to even start with like who to reach out to, but I'm going to, I'll come up with something. Yeah. Message me if you have questions. Okay, thank, All right. you. thank you. Bye guys. Bye. All right. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks again. Yeah. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay.